from the beginning. Hello guys, how is it going? I hope that everyone is safe and are staying at home during these tough periods of times. Uh, I've been self-quarantined for over two weeks right now, uh, but nothing has changed uh, for me because I'm a programmer, so no uh, human interaction is just heaven for us. Uh, so recently I read a great article about uh, social distancing and the importance of acting right now, uh, because uh, on this graph, you can see the difference between uh, social distancing at day 20 and day 21, which is 40%, which uh, is terrifying. I wanted to better visualize this effect, so I decided to do a simulation. Yeah, right, I'm gonna simulate coronavirus and try to demonstrate how social distancing can help us overcome this pandemic. So without further ado, let's just jump into it and start coding the simulation. So the first thing that we're gonna do uh, is we have to create the world on which we will later on draw our uh, people. So for that I just created an empty canvas. So here it is guys. I think I created the perfect solution for uh, coronavirus because no people nor no virus spreading. Just kidding. Uh, let's now create our people. So each person will be uh, drawn on a random position on the screen. Uh, and we will draw uh, a little circle in the place of a person. Hey, look at them. Damn, they look so realistic. Okay, let's now make our little humans walk, because who doesn't like walking, huh? I think that's an accurate enough movement of the people. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Let's um, randomize completely their way of moving, uh, so we can have a pretty accurate uh, simulation. So here we can see that they move in a random direction and they change the direction. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with it, so let's move forward. Right now let's start uh, programming a way uh, to distinguish between infected and non-infected people. Uh, so the general idea is that in the beginning only one person will be infected and the infected people will be shown on the map with a orange dot uh, and healthy people will be shown with a green dot. So here we can see that we uh, generated uh, half of the people that will be infected. We can see these orange dots running around. Uh, that's good, uh, well, that's not very good, but for our simulation that's good. The next step would be to make the virus spread, uh, so for that we will have a contamination radius around uh, infected people and if a healthy person gets into that contamination radius, he'll get infected as well. And here we can see how healthy people are getting infected just by getting into the contamination radius of an infected person. After that, I program that uh, each person that is infected uh, will get ill after 5 days and when they are ill, uh, they are shown on the map as red and later on we will make so that ill per people will get transported to the hospital so they will not get into contact with other people. After that, I added houses uh, and I programmed that people after a certain number of days will just run over their houses. So here we can see that they, after 5 days, all of them went to their houses, uh, though simulating the social distancing. Finally, I added some more touches uh, to the code and specifically I added a navigation panel on the left where we can set the number of people that the simulation will run and also the social distancing uh, at which day. Uh, this way we can test it with different days and see the result. Uh, the data about the current simulation can also be seen in the left panel and there we can see how many people are infected and how many percentages of them uh, and also how many people are ill which are displayed as cases uh, and also what day we currently run. 
Now let's test uh, the difference between social distancing at one day apart. For that, uh, I'm running at uh, on the top uh, simulation with social distancing at day six, and on the bottom uh, simulation with social distancing at day seven. And here we can see our results. So for social distancing at day six, we have 29% of people infected, and for social distancing at day seven we have already 46% uh, of people infected, which is a 58% increase. That's insane. Let's also try to run a simulation with almost no social distancing. So I will set the social distancing at day 20, and then we can see uh, how many people are infected. Yeah, we can easily see with no social distancing, this virus can uh, kill everybody except from some people living in jungles, I don't know. That's it for today, guys. Uh, you can access the simulation using the link down below and play with it. Uh, but if you're a programmer and want to contribute, I also left uh, the link to the GitHub repository. And if you have interesting ideas, just make a pull request and I'll have a look at it. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so and leave a like to help me get started on this platform. So, uh, as always guys, stay hydrated, write clean code and don't interact with people, it's uh, kinda lame nowadays.